All right, chip of the day. Chip of the day is the CA3046, a very old part. I believe, if I remember right, the original CA3046s were made by RCA. Um, very, very um, popular chip back in the day. Um, pretty old. So it is a IC, it's a 14 pin IC, and all it has in it is five transistors, five NPN transistors, and that's it. Now these two transistors are uh, uh, in a, a differential pair. They have a common emitter, and then these three are separate. And this was such a good part, Tektronix used it in their front end amplifiers of some of their oscilloscopes. So um, it is a wonderful part. Um, Obsolete, of course, it's replaced by an HFA3646. I don't know if that's still made or not. Um, but you can, you can find these all over the used market. Um, they are everywhere. So the cool thing about having five transistors that are all on the same piece of silicon is they're going to be matched pretty well. So it says the, uh, the VBE match is within five millivolts and the IO match is within two microamps. Uh, low noise, that's why they, uh, Tektronix wanted to use it for the front end amplifier. Um, operation to 120 megahertz, so pretty fast. Um, full military range, whoa. Uh, yeah, they're spec'd up to 125C. Oh, wow. Uh, custom design differential amplifiers. In fact, that's the circuit we're going to be looking at, is a custom differential amplifier. Um, see application notes. Uh, interesting. Uh, I didn't look at that. I should. Uh, let's see here. What other specs does this wonderful beast have? Uh, it is a 60 volt part. Uh, they don't give the max. They just give a typical 60 volts. Uh, that's to collector base. Uh, where's collector emitter? Collector emitter, 24 volts. So it's, it's a fairly low voltage in that as aspect. Uh, let's see. Make sure I'm on camera. Uh, HFE is pretty typical, 100. Um, okay. And what is the collector currents? Um, max collector current. Let's see here. Milliamps. I don't see it right away. Um, let's see. Let's look at some of the uh, collector current in milliamps. 10 milliamps. Uh, that's for offset. Uh, it's got to be in here. Where's the max? Collector current. 10 milliamps. They've measured it to 10 milliamps. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the max is. That's interesting. I don't get max collector current. I must have to calculate it from something. Uh, common emitter, base current, typical base bandwidth, collector, here we go, collector current. Uh, oh, that's noise figure. Milliamps, 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 collector emitter current, 10 milliamps. I'd say 10 milliamps is all they've really told that you can do with this thing is 10 milliamps. Yeah. It's only spec'd up to 10 milliamps. Okay, fine for front end amplifiers and stuff. All right, so this is the circuit we're gonna have. Uh, I just kind of copied this off of some web page, And um, it's a differential pair and uh, it has a uh, uh, current source down here at the bottom. So our, our minus V will have a VBE drop here. So right here we'll have minus V plus plus 0.7 volts. And that will be here. And that across an 18K resistor will set the current. That current will be mirrored into this transistor. So we'll have that current flowing here. And uh, a differential pair with, uh, like I say, the common emitter here. And then we have an 18K, 18K. So everything's 18K here because um, I had a bunch of them. And uh, these are the pin numbers for the device. So pins one, two, three, four, five. This is all on uh, all together. So these are matched really, really well. And then these guys are the two separate, uh, two separate things. So uh, have it uh, wired up over here uh, on the on the left. Forget that. That's a that'll be another different video. Uh, but right now we're working on this one here, and it's the circuit that has showed you. 
so let me uh, let's see here. Let me get rid of this before I show you the uh, screen. Let me move the scope probe over. Uh, there we go. So the uh, blue trace is the input, uh, which is uh, 50 millivolts. So we have a 50 millivolt signal coming in, and this is the output, which is a two volts per, s so that's a plus or minus two volt swing on the output. Uh, so quite a bit of gain for this thing. So it makes a really, really good, nice little amplifier. Um, so if you notice, I didn't show where the output was here. So we can either take the output from this, or we can take the output from this. Differential pairs work by current switching, right? It's like a teeter-totter. Current's either going to be going through here, or it's going to be going through here, or it's going to be right in the middle of the two. The way that we're using it, though, this is going to be going up and down, which will turn this uh, on and off. And if the current, remember, there's a current source here. There's only so many milliamps available. Um, and so sometimes the current goes through here and it depletes this one from current. And sometimes the current is not going here and you've got more current over on this side. So the, the, it's a constant current. So you have a total current, but sometimes part of it's over here. Sometimes part of it's over here. And it's just going to go back and forth. So you can take it off of these two points. Okay. So I'm taking it off of one of those points right now. And if I put my cyan over on the other output, you see that we have two, uh, two outputs and they're 180 degrees out of phase because one's going up, one's going down, one's going down, one's going up. So there you go. They're about the same amplitude. So it's matched pretty well. And uh, yeah, there you go. If we wanted to use one of those other uh, transistors, we could take one of these outputs and we could probably run it through, uh, run it through something like this and have a higher drive output. We could put it through a, a uh, emitter follower. So we could do something like this, 18K, and it would be nice and stiff. Maybe this is like even 1K, right? We can make it stiff up and down and uh, uh, make sure that we don't overload it with 10 milliamps, right? So if we have, let's say we have 12 volts available and we have uh, 10 milliamps maximum, we would want to make this uh, 1.2, 1.2K, okay, to be safe. Um, so you do a calculation like that, right? So you, you, it's good to use a little math um, and uh, keep yourself within the limits of the parts you're using. But uh, yeah, that's the circuit for the day. And uh, the CA3046 is the tip of the day.